Hi Water Signs, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do a three month forecast. So this is for Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Star Sign, Sun Sign. If that is your main sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, this reading is for you. I do that just for these types of readings because I don't want you to go to, I mean, we all have all the other ones in our chart. We do. All that's going to do is confuse you. I'm not saying not to do that for your other ones, you know, but for this reading in particular, this is for your sun sign, star sign, three month forecast. Okay. So we're going to start with month number one, month number two, and month number three. We're going to get three cards for each month, and then we're going to break out into these decks for, for uh, you know, the main reading for each month. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We're just going to see whatever comes up the next three months. Now, these readings are timeless. So from the time that you watch it, you count out 30 days, that's the first month. Second month, the next 30 days. Third month, the next 30 days. And that's how it's going to go. And these are overall energy cards. They're not going to be reversed. If they come out reversed, I mean, I'm, these aren't reversed. These aren't reversed. These are oracle. You could call this like a, well, it is It is the main energies, but it's not, it's not reversed. Oh, so this month you guys are receiving some sort of completion. A new beginning. Starting on a brand new journey. Brand spanking new. One thing has completed in your life right now, starting now. I mean, this is the last card in the deck. You guys have learned some sort of lesson. A lesson has been learned. And now you're planting seeds, okay? Now you're planting seeds that will come to fruition probably by spring. So what's that, three months? Three to four months? So you need to be patient. Right now you are... You know, you're setting your intentions, you're planting your seeds, and they're going to they're gonna grow. All right? So you guys are evolving. This is a temperance card. You're evolving. You just completed a cycle, a phase of your life. Done. Right now. Next month, things are going to start changing. Things are going to start growing. You're going to start to see yourself, you know, coming out of the mud, coming out of the dirt, you know, starting to blossom. You're going to be starting to blossom next month really blossom and the third month is victory and success this is the chariot the third month you are in complete control right in the driver's seat in the lead by the third month you are in the lead and you're heading you're headed very fast very quickly right towards victory and success by the third month so you guys are completing something right now, one cycle, one phase, one project, something that was very prominent in your life, done. New start, done. This is this is starting on that me next uh, major life lesson. You're on, you're on the uh, very, you're at the very beginning of your next journey right now, or you're about to be. And all you got to do is be patient and wait. Wait for, wait for the blossom. Wait for the gift. Wait for the miracle. The second month is a month of cultivation. Nurturing. Taking care of it. Taking care of yourself. The second month. The third month, success. Month number one. Month number one. We will zoom this in when we get done. Month number one. Once I get these cards laid out right here. Water signs. Month number one. What can they expect in the next 30 days? Now, that makes sense, okay? You do got something that's ending. We have a death, which is a change. It's the ending of something. Things have to be removed so that you can grow, grow newness, okay? So right now, during this month, the very month that you are in right now, 
there's something that well, this is a negative. It is negative. But the, but the Page of Wands reverse. You're, you could be dealing with somebody that's bringing you down. You could be involved in a karmic situation. This is karma. It's bad. It's, it's reversed. There's something that isn't good that needs to be removed. Could be a relationship. I'm just saying. It could be. Some, it's an, a relationship could be coming to an end. There's power struggles. There's conflict. This is severing ties. This is severing ties. He's got the sword. He's going to sever the ties. The universe may be severing ties with some sort of change and ending. I'm being real. I'm, I am. Because you're, you, you may be involved in something that is weighing you down, something that is heavy, something that is... Uh, distracting you distracting you from success something is distracting you from success it's distracting you from getting what you deserve something is distracting you this month from getting what you deserve and it needs to end so that you can find success in the future the universe is guiding you and this is severing ties. That is. The five of swords is severing ties. Could be with a relationship. And that is a relationship. A commitment. Or a partnership. And accepting the truth. This is an awakening. This is the sword that cuts. And it hurts. And it like you're you're cutting you're cutting right through that fire. You are you're cutting right through it. You could be cutting a fire sign or a fire sign. Some it could be a fire sign. You could be cutting a fire sign out of your life, or a fire sign could be cutting you out of their life. I don't know. Now it's pointing right up at the justice reversed. This truth, there's been an injustice, there's been a lie. I mean, I can't pretend I can't, I can't. There's been some sort of lie that is going to be revealed. Some sort of truth is going to come out about an injustice this month. And it may cause somebody to sever ties and end it and release it. Because they're, they were being lied to. So I believe that there's some truth that is going to be revealed. This is the truth. This is the raw truth. There's been some sort of deception here. The justice reversed. Somebody has not been telling the truth. I hate this card, the five of swords. I mean, it's the ego card. But it's also a card of severing ties and power struggles. Somebody has been really struggling with a partnership and it's been weighing them down. Very heavy, very heavy energy. It needs to end and the universe sees that it needs to end. So they're going to give somebody the, the power. The power to communicate or, yeah, the power to accept the truth. The power to, to cut something out, to sever the ties. So I feel like there's some ties that are going to be severed. With a little bit of help from the universe. I think that you have been stuck, unable to walk away. This is walking away, the Eight of Cups. It's thinking about it, but not doing so. And now you have the you're, you have that choice. This is, this is a card of consequences, the Seven of Cups. You may have been confused. You have to make this decision in your in, because this is unable to make a decision. And this is a complex decision, whether to walk away or whether to go back or whatever. I mean, you're going back and forth. It's like you're on some sort of roller coaster ride here. And you don't know what you want to do. You don't know whether you want to go or you want to stay. But the universe sees everything that's going on. And there is an injustice here. Somebody is not telling the truth. There's a lie here that you cannot pretend that that is not what that is. And the truth is going to be revealed. And it's going to allow you to go down a new path. Now you have options. You do. You have an option to stay or to go. You could even be thinking about moving. I mean, literally moving, traveling to a new destination. Whatever this is, you, you are going to be given the power to make a decision to stay where you're at or to move forward. 
to go down a new path. You're at that crossroads. You have you keep, you got to choose. This is the choice. Choice decision making time. And I think that you have been um, indecisive, right? You have you've been indecisive with these two cards as to whether you should stay or to go. All the while knowing that something isn't right. You know that something isn't right with the justice reversed. You do. And you know that something needs to end. But making that decision, making that complex decision, that's a hard, that's not easy, right? It's not easy. You have options. And, you know, you def I think you're dealing with a fire sign and Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, that maybe this person has other options and you're seeing that clearly. This person probably has... Well, there's lack of happiness here. There's lack of content. There's lack of abundance. Whoever you're dealing with isn't happy. They're not happy. And this, this person is kind of conceited. Whoever you're dealing with is conceited. Self-centered. This person has hindered your wish fulfillment. Just saying, the universe sees that. The universe sees whoever this person is that is very bossy very controlling whoever this person is is hindering your wish fulfillment and you need to let it go you may be hanging on to this person because it's stable and that's it that's it lesson needs to be learned here and a lesson is probably going to be learned this is very greedy behavior somebody is holding on to something you know doing everything in their power to keep things stable to keep things safe trying to cover up something i think you're Somebody's trying to cover up something, a lie. But it looks like the truth is going to come out and somebody's going to do the right thing. This is somebody who has the moral backbone to do the right thing. Face the unknown. And, and, and end it. So I think there's going to be an ending because somebody is going to speak the truth. Somebody is going to speak the truth and go in a different direction. That's what's going to happen. This is a new golden opportunity. Somebody's going to see. Because see, he's like, says, I see that I got a better opportunity. And I'm going to let go of this depression. I'm going to let go of this anxiety. I'm going to let go of this, this worry. I'm going, to, I'm going to remove myself from this depressive situation. So I think that you guys are ending something that has caused you a lot of anxiety, a lot of depression, a lot of sadness, a lot of guilt. And perhaps this is, could be even an apology. I mean, the Page of Pentacles is, is an apology. And this is communicating the truth. So I'm not sure if what that is. I find that hard to believe. Um, Queen of Wands. Confidence, courage, strength, wisdom. You're definitely dealing with a fire sign. And I think that this fire sign... That, this is a completion. It is. It's a completion of something with this fire sign. I know that it is. A, a relationship that you have held on to. It doesn't have to be a fire sign. It can be any other sign. But somebody has tried to hide. And now there's a lot of pain. And now there's a lot of hurt. It's like, and this person may have really broken your heart. Whoever this person is, could be any sign. I, feel, I see like there's a broken heart here. There's like a really, you know, but this is, but this is ending it. There's an ending, the ending of something that was really painful in your life. Heart-wrenching. No longer going to work on it. No longer going to put in any effort. I think you're giving up on a dead end, a dead end situation. You're giving up on it, and you're headed towards the Empress, um, which is a Taurus or a Libra. You, you, uh, or this is the person that broke your heart. 
somebody is giving up. Somebody has given up. They're giving up, and that it's, it's there's a lot of heartache. And this person knows her worth, so this could this could even be you. If it's a female, it's a female. I know what I'm worth. I do know what I'm worth. You see the bow? It's anyway, um, Empress. So anyway, very heart wrenching. Um, lesson learned about self-worth about worth period it is it's, it's very painful this woman um, she's beautiful and she has multiple options she does have multiple options so I think that whoever this woman is she knows she has multiple options and she is ending something that was very negative in her life his or her both she's ending something negative i think the woman is ending something negative but whoever the male is in this predicament i think that he is too there's an ending here there's a there's a severing of ties here period for male or female Somebody's been hiding the truth, and the fact of the matter is, is that they can't anymore. It's too painful. There's no stability in it. There's no security. It's, it's slipped away. The, the opportunity has slipped away. There's no more. Somebody is no longer fighting for it. Somebody has given up. They've, they've given up on something, and it's ending. So endings bring new beginnings. So you guys are going through a completion this month. For the next 30 days. I mean, that's what I see. This is a completion. This is a completion. You can't... I mean, that's the truth. Endings bring new beginnings. And now you got to be patient because this ending is just happening right now, right? Or you're just coming to grips with it. You're accepting the truth of it right now. Whatever the case is. The truth is being accepted right now about a completion. And that's what's happening. Something is ending that was very significant in your life. It's over. It's done. Period. Right now. There's going to be some sort of truth that is communicated that wakes you up and makes you realize something is over. You're going to wake up to the truth. You're going to wake up and you're going to be like, oh yeah, it's over. That's what it is this next 30 days some sort of communal truthful honest communication is going to come through and that's the way it is so be prepared be prepared to sever some ties i mean that's what it looks like to me month number two be patient because something is going to happen something is going to grow the seeds that you have planted from this release from this ending because this is the last card it's the ending a traveler has reached the end when you get to this card when you get to the end where can you go where can you go once you get to the end new journey so you are at the very beginning of a new journey at the end of this 30 days be patient Something is going to grow. Something is going to grow. There's lack of patience, huh? Lack of courage. Lack of confidence. You may feel weak. You may feel like you're not strong enough because you just had to sever some ties. You may feel like you're not doing well. I mean, sometimes that happens. Now, don't get frustrated with this change. Sorry. It's time to let go of that past hurt. You have to let go of that hurt to have victory and success in the future. That heartache that you just released, keep going. You're making progress. Now that you have made that final decision to let this go, you're going to receive something. But you, this is patience and this is patience. You're going to have to nurture it. You're going to have to be patient with yourself. You're going to have to wait. Wait for divine timing. Go within. Take a time to reflect. Take time to heal. Healing is needed from this, these ties that were just severed. 
So this second month, you're going to be healing. And I know you guys, some of you would like to jump right into things, but it doesn't work like that. It doesn't. It takes time. The only thing that heals is time. The only thing that heals, the only thing that grows is time. You can't make that grow overnight. It takes time. Something is going to take you some, and this is healing. This is the temperance card. Healing, healing. You guys are going to be going through a healing that second month because, month because something is ending in your life. Something big is ending in your life the month before. And you don't have to accept it, but you're going to accept it with that Ace of Swords. It's going to be accepted because you're, it's going to, you're going to feel it. That Ace of Sword cuts. It, you're going to feel it. And I'm going to be that realistic reader, whether you like it or not. You know where it's going to lead you in that second month? Right to love. By the end of this, this is going down here. By the end of the second month, you are going to be headed right towards love. Something more emotionally fulfilling than you had over here. Whatever you severed ties with, be patient. Work on your healing. You're headed towards love, but you know where it starts? From within self-love. So by the second month, you are probably going to start loving yourself. You're going to start <coughs> feeling more emotionally fulfilled. You're going to start working on yourself. and You're going to start releasing that past hurt for good. I mean, you're leaving it behind by the looks of things. Excuse me. This was in the last one. There's communication issues. You're going to have a hard time communicating with somebody. There's, there's still some sort of karma here, okay? This is karma, and it's reversed. And this is communication. And I said you're going to have a hard time communicating somewhat with somebody because my throat got, like, parched. Parched. That hasn't happened to me. It has not. It's like all of a sudden I couldn't speak. Seriously, it was like all of a sudden I couldn't get the I couldn't even get the words to come out. It was like it was so something was wrong. And that doesn't that has never happened to me before. All of a sudden it happened real quick. All of a sudden I couldn't speak. So I figured I'd take a drink and that would help. Nope, dry as hell. Like no speech, no no communication, like no I couldn't talk. So there's a lack of, this is a lack of uh, truth right here. It is the justice reversed. This is communicating, but I don't want to be held accountable for my actions. I don't know what that is. Hold on. Oh, there is, a, there's denial. Oh, somebody's in denial. Second month still in, is still in denial. Oh. So, yeah, somebody doesn't want to accept the truth of a situation. Maybe somebody doesn't want to accept the truth of that something is over. Water signs. Some, and I'm like holding my chest tight. I don't know if you can see it. I got my, I got my hands like tight up against my chest. It's like I can't breathe. I can't breathe, that kind of thing. Um, it's like I'm gasping and I'm not. Um, it's almost like... This second month, there's this heaviness, because justice is heaviness, reversed. There's this heaviness, a heavy decision, a heavy truth about love that you may need to take, you may need to really accept. So yeah, the first month, this, this is what's happening. The first month, the ties are being severed. The second month, you're healing from this truth that has taken your breath away. You know what I mean? That has totally uh, shocked you. So there's, it's like you're going to receive some sort of shocking truth about love that blows your, takes your breath away. 
and um, it's probably going to take some minute to, to, to heal. So this, be patient, be patient. Um, <clears throat> this Empress, she's pretty prominent in your reading. She really is. So she's part of your life. Um, this is, you know, defending yourself. It's also fighting for something. This is like standing your ground and fighting for something. Coming out of denial. But the Empress reversed is very possessive, very jealous, vindictive. Um, defensive she is defensive and I think that you may maybe you're going to get in some sort of fight with this person oh jeez that could certainly be the case or or you're wanting to fight for a relationship with this person and you may want to commu communicate with this person but You're tempted. You're tempted. There's some temptation here. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tempted to <laughs> play with or flirt with this person. Okay? You're going to be tempted to uh, play with the devil, you know? So be careful. Be careful. Okay? Be careful. You could, you know, you want to give your heart away. You want to give your heart away because it could get hurt. Um, I, you know, I feel like this second month you are going to be tempted by some sort of, um, seductress of some sort. If you are the male, you're going to be, you're going to be t tempted by a seductress that has many options. So be careful. If you're the, if you're the, the water sign male, you're going to be tempted by this seductress. If you are the female watching this, you could be that sedu seductress who is, uh, playing with somebody and um, it brings you backwards okay it brings you backwards it stalls your progress it's takes you takes you step back so just be really really careful I think that you know this is somebody from your past because this is backwards this is somebody from your past you may be tempted with somebody from your past to, you know, this is love. Flirt. Oh, commitment. Well, that would, yeah, that's the only way. Uh, that is the, absolutely the only way. But, um, son of a bitch. Uh, you're, you may, you may think that your, maybe your inner guide is trying to push you in a different direction this is a different direction your inner guide is trying to push you in a different direction and it looks like you may need to go deep 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 within to listen to listen really he's that's why his hand is up he's like listen are you listening I'm trying to tell you what to do and this is intuition your intuition is going to tell you what you should fight for. So pay attention. Pay attention. You may have run into some bad luck. You may have made a wrong decision. And now there's some sort of communication coming in. I think it's with somebody that, I mean, the wheel backwards is somebody that it's from your past. But you just complete, you severed ties. So maybe you severed ties with someone else. And you're realizing, because this is real, stepping back. I don't know what the hell this is. <clears throat> Remember I said that's an apology? But in this one, it is, there's no apology. There's no apology. There's no apology. There's no apology. There's no acceptance of an apology. There's somebody here that was a player that did not act with integrity. And perhaps now the opportunity has slipped away. 
but somebody still wants love. You're going to have a choice. You get to make a choice. Yeah, that, there's that two of wands we saw in the other one. This month, the second month, you are going to have an opportunity to start something. To start something new. To go in a totally different direction towards love. But you gotta, you gotta get unstuck. You gotta be able to accept change. You know, the hangman reversed is the master. I mean, the hangman upright is the master of non-attachment. Doesn't like attachment. Doesn't like change. Luckily, in reverse, it's much better because it's like I'm ready to change. I'm ready for, you could say, attachment. And with the hero fonts, maybe somebody is making a decision that they're ready for a commitment. I don't know about that. Thinking about going back. So you guys are thinking about going back to something. I think what's happened is some ties have been severed with some sort of karmic situation. And now you're wanting to perhaps stop being in limbo, stop being in suspension and go back because I'm thinking about going back. But I think that things are too out of control. Things are too out of control. I think that it's 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 a loss. I think that there's no you can't you can't control this situation. It's out of your control. It's uh, you can't. There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do. There's a soulmate connection here that is it's no longer practical. Okay, it's not. It's no longer practical. And I think that you are probably still hanging on to it, unfortunately. Even though you've 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 let something go, I think you're wanting to go back to something. You're wanting to take back control of a situation, but I think that it's you can't go back for some reason. You're wanting to take control. You're wanting to take the lead. You're wanting to fix something. But there's no... It's unstable. You can't. You can't. The, I mean, there, there's... I think you're beginning to realize that there's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can do during this month. So you're still healing. Now this is the card of give and take, generosity. You get what you give and you give what you get. Getting what you deserve. <laughs> so perhaps at this time you are going to be getting something that you deserve, whether it be good or bad. Let's clarify this card right here. Patience. Something is going to grow with time and effort. If you really, really, really put in effort and you give to whatever this is that you want to fight for, it could grow. But you're going to have to give equally. You're going to have to really, really, really give. Like, equal. Equal give and take. There is an opportunity for love here. And this could even be a reconciliation. It could be. It could be brand new love. It could be. But it's going to take time for it to grow. And it's going to take a lot of giving. It's going to take a lot of receiving to equal. You're going to have to allow yourself to receive. And you're going to have to give. Both equally. To come out of this period of darkness. It's like I want to take control of the situation. I Maybe you want to apologize. I don't know. The hell? This is the second month, right? Open your heart. So it looks to me like you guys will probably be following your intuition and opening your heart in a new direction. It looks like you're gonna take the lead. You're gonna take the lead. You're gonna you're gonna face your, face the unknown. You are. 
And you're going to head towards victory and success. And this is the last card I'm pulling, which is great because it's the same card. You guys are going to find that mental strength to go get what you deserve. And it looks like you're going to put in the effort. You're going to put in the effort to nurture yourself to make something grow. I don't know. It could be it could be somebody that you, you know, have known before, maybe I don't know. Whatever this is, it's going to lead you towards victory and success if you put in the extra effort. This is put in effort. This is put in effort. This is put in effort. So I think that you guys are probably going to go above and beyond to make something grow the second month. Whatever it is. And it is love. Because it's, it is love. It is love. Whatever it is. So that's what I have for the second month. A lot of healing going on though. Especially at the beginning of the second month. Because some ties have just been severed. Third month. That was a long second month, wasn't it? Third month. Victory, success, that's that chariot card, different deck. You know, found, you found the mental strength to take action. You're in charge. You are in charge. You're back in charge. You're back in the driver's seat. You've got control. By the third month, you do have control. So, yeah, you've taken the control back somehow. Mental strength, the control is back in your hands. The reins are in your hands. You're in charge, even though it wasn't easy. You guys must have persevered, huh? Ooh, look at right, what's right underneath it. Relationship, happiness, togetherness. You've made a decision. The third month, you have made a decision whether you want to go back or not. By the third month, see, probably in the second month, you're in the process of making the decision. Now the decision has been made. To communicate, maybe make some compromises, come together in a relationship of some sort. You've opened your heart, no longer wanting to fight, no longer playing any games. Golden opportunity. Uh, yeah, you guys, I got a new opportunity here for something long term, something stable, something solid, something you can bank on, something you can save, something big. You have a big, 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 big opportunity by the third month, in sometime in the third month. Um, <laughs> This opportunity is something that you can touch, something that is really good to look at, something that is um, something that you've manifested. It's something that you want. It's something that you've wished for because you've manifested it. This is the ace of manifestation, and it's a gift. It's a gift. God gives you this. So it looks like you're, and this is a reward. So your patience from the last month and your perseverance and your ability to rise above something and do whatever you got to do is bringing you a reward by the third month. No shit. And it's because you nurtured. Remember I said you got to nurture in the last one? You've nurtured something. You have. And now the conflict, the tension is dissipating because you've done the work. You have. Now you're having victory and success because you have manifested, and not only have you manifested, you've worked on it. You've, you've opened up. You've, you've come out of your funk. You're headed towards a relationship of some sort, happiness. Oh, the lovers. You're headed towards a soulmate connection. Divinely guided by this angel right here. And this is somebody I think that you know. I think that this person, maybe you've been watching this person or they've been watching you. This is a somebody that um, you know for sure. And there's that seven of wands. Remember we had it in the, in the last one. This is something that you're willing to fight for. And maybe you did fight for it. You fought for it. With the truth, perhaps. 
Two of Cups. You're headed towards love by that third month. You are. You absolutely are. You're headed right towards a soulmate connection. There's no joke here. You are. Soulmate connection. It, really. So by that third month, you're headed towards a soulmate connection. And this, and maybe you didn't expect it to happen. You didn't expect it to happen, but your valor, your ability to do something, to manifest and to put in effort and to fight for something, go for what you want and not give up, because this is this guy don't give up, has is going to bring you victory and success. You win. This is the triumph. It's you win. You win. It's a seven. You win. So there's in this relationship, this could this could lead to something really, really good. So I think by the third month, because you something is is first of all, there's a severing of ties for real. The first month is a severing of ties. It's a major completion. Something is ending for good. And that's no joke. But it's leading you towards love. Because we have the Ace of Cups down here. So, true love. True love. So. <laughs> how is this going to happen anyway? It's something you manifested. You're going to run into this person somehow. He's putting a ring on her finger. He is. He is. I just happened to notice that. He's putting a ring on her finger. So somebody could be getting engaged even. Angel did this. It's the end of the hurt. This is an end. It's the end of the pain. It's the end of the suffering. It's the end. It's the end of suffering. You're about to fall in love. And you probably didn't expect it. So by the third month, you're the winner. Unexpected, unexpected love, unexpected partnership by the third month. Perfect soulmate connection. And that is what I have, water signs. Good luck.